Now, the Herald Sun has revealed Great. that 10 councils have been blindsided by a settlement agreement that would hand Indigenous groups powers to rename roads, bridges, public spaces. Uh, the deal reportedly signed by the Andrews government, which insists it does not have any legal obligation. What's your reaction to this story, Steve? This is an area of these 10 councils that covers about the size of Tasmania through Victoria. Uh, the government's tried to say today, oh, well, there's nothing to see here. It's not no legal obligation, as you say. But a raft of mayors today have come out and said, listen, we now don't dare name a road because we, we believe that we will be told we have to name it in an Indigenous name. They're also fearful of the fact they'll have to co-name much of the areas that they control. I mean, I tell you who would not want this story to be made public today... Uh, and that is the voice campaigners who are campaigning for yes. Because when you look at what is going on in Victoria, which already has uh, a truth commission, it already has moved towards a Makarata, and it already has said it will move to treaty. What's happening in individual states, and you can look at WA, where we've got farmers who can't dig a two-inch hole in their farm soil without having Indigenous advice on what they're digging, uh, you can see that that, and in Victoria now, is exactly what's going to happen across Australia if the Yes campaign gets up, I believe, in the referendum. All right, Steve Price, great to have you, as always, on a Wednesday to run through the big stories of the day. Thanks for your time.